Sam, to you, do you must be so pleased to get this done. Yeah, it's something that's been in the pipeline for a few weeks now, at least. Um, there's a few things to sort out and from different sides, really, both sides, and a few things to weigh up for me personally. Um, but yeah, so glad it's, it's, it's finally been done and uh, I can't wait to get going now. What's it like for a player when you haven't got the certainty of your next couple of years sorted out through what is a key period of the season? Yeah, it's obviously very uncertain, obviously not just football-wise, but like lifestyle-wise as well. Obviously my family, I need to move and things like that um, from living down in London and a lot of things to consider, like you say, but this decision was based on fo purely football, really, and, and hopefully I can enjoy my life as well outside of it. And the, the way the club's going football-wise, like I just said, is, is, is brilliant, so I can't wait to get going and hopefully, hopefully help that. How much did that help the decision-making, having seen what happened to us at the end of last season? Yeah, massive. It was massive. Um, obviously, watched the playoff games. The atmosphere here looks looks unbelievable. Um, and as it did at Wembley, um, I thought the gaffer spoke well after the game and things like that. So yeah, from an outsider, a few weeks ago, it was, it was a, a good club to be at. And so when I got the phone call to to join and the gaffer sounded keen, I was uh, all over it really. What's he said to you about this move, Sam? He's just basically said how 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 to fit in here, how he wants me here, how he thinks the team needs me in in with my qualities that I, that I have. Um, and yeah, he just promised me that I'd enjoy it. And I know a few lads that have played here in the past and play here now, and they all, they all seem to love it. So, um, yeah, like I said, from the outside, it, looking in, it looked like a great little club to be involved in, and the gaffer definitely definitely helped that. Fans know you because we always seem to play Morecambe every other week at, at some point. So, you're not the head it, kick it classic defender, are you? There's more to your game than that. I'd like to think so, yeah. Um, I grew up at Blackburn Academy and stuff, and I was a striker from, from a young age. So, I'm. I'm I like to think that's still in me somewhere, very probably very deep down. But um, no, I, th I think I've, I've obviously I'm aggressive. I, I like to win all my headers. Um, I like to put tackles in and lead lead the team. But at the same time, I, I like to think I can I can pass it as well. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to both challenges and, and obviously different teams provide different um, sort of tactics. So you need to you need to be able to adapt. So yeah, hopefully I can do a bit of both. You just mentioned your upbringing in the game there, Sam Blackburn and academy like that to work your way all the way through. That's a pat on the back itself. Yeah, obviously Blackburn's got a good pedigree bringing players through. We didn't quite make it into the first team there, but I like to think it, it, it's standing to me in good stead to, to go on to different clubs, really. Um, not just on the pitch, but they taught me a few life lessons off the pitch as well. So, yeah, I think your upbringing's massive in, in, in who you are today. Um, yeah, Blackburn sort of played a part in that definitely it must have been a shock going to Bolton at the time when they were going through whatever it was they were going through and you having to be part of that yeah it was a bit of a stop start year at, at Bolton um, I was promised different things and signed a temporary contract which ended up being a, a permanent contract throughout the season because of the different things in the embargo so yeah that was a bit of a, a, bit of a weird time but again I think that's that's shaped me a little bit mentally um, it's all experiences that, that are going to help you in the future and I think tough times like that and other times that I've had at Blackburn or at Charlton, for example, it's, it, it all helps you. So, um, yeah, I think mentally I'm, I'm quite experienced these days. What clicked when you got to Morecambe? Because it clicked. Yeah, it just worked for some reason. Um, the first few years, like Morecambe usually were, they were, they were down there fighting for relegation. Um, and that season, Derek Adams come in and, yeah, we just went from strength to strength. I think we were very fit, very fit lads, very, very game lads. Um, and yeah, just just worked hard for each other. There's probably better teams in that league that year that we got promoted. But like I said, I think most of it was down to hard work and having a good team spirit, which I've seen Carlisle certainly have, especially playing them with them over the years against them. Um, I know in a few ex-players, they, they all say the same thing about the, the, the team spirit and such a, what such a nice club it is. How did a relatively young lad end up captaining the team, not just a promotion, but through the Wembley system that we went through up, up, up through? I don't know. I think I think I've always been sort of. A leader growing up for academies. I was always captain of the age groups growing up. I think it's just a, a characteristic that I have really. Um, I, th I think I like to do it. I like to do the, the stuff outside of football, which is which the captain captain does. And on the pitch, I like to lead. I like to, to be vocal. Um, I think that's massive in the game. And sometimes, sometimes with these young lads coming through, I don't think it's it's been taught taught enough really. Um, so I do like to, to be vocal and and to lead. So yeah, I think Derek Adams when he come in just probably saw that quality in me and. I think I thrived on it and probably end up playing a bit better for it. And the Morecambe fans, they absolutely adored you, didn't they? I think they, they still talk of you to this day as a bit of a club legend. Yeah, uh, I had a few messages hoping I was going to go back there, um, but <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe maybe one day. But yeah, got nothing but good words to say about Morecambe. They, they kick-started my career, the fans are unbelievable. Um, and I probably had the best moment of my career at Morecambe, obviously getting promoted as, as a young captain. So yeah, nothing but good to say about Morecambe. And yeah, hopefully maybe one day I might play again for them. 
you mentioned learning about yourself through the, the Charlton spell and everything, and the Burton spell as well with the, the injury that you picked up there. How much do you learn about yourself when it's not as smooth as what happened at Morecambe? Yeah, I, th- I think as you get older, I'm, I'm 26 now, I've played over 200 games, so I, th- I think you just learn, you learn to, it's going to be experience for you. So if you're not in the team, it's, it's going to help you in, in some way. You can't see it at that time, but it, it will help you in the future to deal with, with it because it's going to happen in football. Um, so yeah, when you get injuries like I did at Charlton and, and Burton and the loan and things like that, and it, it does help you. Um, I think as you get older, you, you, you can take a step back and see it, see it a bit more. Do you come here still having something to prove, Sam? Do you feel that way when you get to a new club? Uh, I think so, yeah, definitely. Especially in League One, I've had a bit of a stop-start time at Charlton. I was in and out, really, um, especially this, this last year. Um, and first year, I was in the team, but obviously got injured a few times. But So, yeah, I think League One-wise, I've got, I've got a lot to prove. And the thought of driving a team forward, and like the manager said, he wants me to do, and competing in the top end of League One, that, that's something that excites me. So, hopefully, I can I can do that. And knowing the level, that's important as well. Is you, you you're coming in eyes wide open, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I think that helps. And like I say, experience at the level, um, experience at obviously lower levels, and so experience of young lads. So I can help the young lads, I think, as well. Um, but yeah, I've, I'm I'm looking forward to it. New challenge, and yeah, a lot to prove. There's always there's always a lot to prove. You said it, and you felt it with the Morecambe thing. There's a buzz here because of what happened. Are you looking forward to getting in amongst that? Yeah, definitely. I think any team that gets promoted, there's, there's a feel good factor. Um, especially, I can see it straight away here just from, from signing today so yeah looking forward to uh, to getting going meeting the lads tomorrow um, and yeah being part of hopefully a new new era sort of thing for Carlisle and playing tomorrow night welcome to the club <laughs> yeah I know um, I had a long journey up but I'll, yeah I'll, I don't mind playing tomorrow uh, a bit of fitness and I'm glad to get it done so early in the window so uh, I've got a bit of time for the, till the first game of the season so yeah all, all positives and looking forward to get going now this professional sport's always a challenge, Sam. What a great challenge to come to, isn't it? A, cl- a club that's just going into League One. Yeah, definitely a new challenge. And like I say, it's things to prove uh, to, to different people, just but mostly to myself, really. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a new challenge, but a challenge that I'm really looking forward to. Um, the thought of competing in League One against these, these big, these massive clubs that are, that are in there at the moment, um, that, that excites me, really. So hopefully I can be a big part of, like I say, a new era for Carlisle. Just finally, you've mentioned it already. The fans, the fans take the players if they give everything, and that's what you are, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's, you'll get nothing less than 120 percent um, on and off the pitch. I, I, I work hard and, and I put it all in, really. Um, so yeah, you can expect everything, everything to be left out on the pitch on a Saturday afternoon. Definitely. Absolutely.